All right, we got the goods. We secured. Well, I got the goods. Zach got a tea, but I guess it, it tastes, tastes like bad. cough syrup. I finally got my hot chocolate. It doesn't taste like coffee beans, but you know what? It'll do. Since we went to a bunch of coffee beans and they were all closed or like shut down. For no reason. Pete's coffee will have to do today. If you've never tried the hot vanilla from coffee bean with oat milk, oh my gosh, run to coffee bean and go and get it because it's like the best drink ever. So it's pretty good. But I was gagging earlier, so this is gonna act like a snack and hopefully not make me gag every two seconds. So I can't breathe and I don't What's up guys? It's your girl Rochelle. And Zach. Back at it again with another YouTube video. So if you read the title of today's video, then you can probably guess what we're doing. But today we're gonna be doing our pregnancy Q&A, which we're so excited about. We've wanted to film this for a while. We just haven't really had the chance to. You um, guys asked a lot of questions. Yeah, and we have a lot of questions to go through. So we had you guys ask us some questions on one of our YouTube videos, and then I also went on Instagram and asked you guys to ask us some questions on there. So we're just gonna go through and see which questions were asked the most and then answer those ones. I'm excited to spill the tea on our pregnancy. The tea, That yeah. rhymes, I'm Dr. Seuss. So one of like the okay. biggest questions we've been getting is were we trying to have kids? Like were we actively trying to get pregnant? Um, and the answer to that is no. It was kind of like if it happened, it happened. We weren't yeah. not trying. True, we weren't, okay, so yeah, that's another thing. People asked me if I was on birth control. I wasn't on birth control. I haven't been on birth control in like, since we started dating, basically. Yeah, I went on birth control when we first started dating, and then like a year into our relationship, I think I got off it. She was getting really sick and all kinds of stuff from taking it, so yeah. it was, was, there was no point. The birth control really messed me up, and so I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna be taking this birth control anymore. So I haven't been on birth control for like a couple years now. So we weren't doing anything to like prevent getting pregnant. We weren't also like actively trying. Basically, we just decided if it happens, it happens. Yeah, like if, if the timing's right and if it's meant to be, it'll happen. We got kind of cocky too. We're like, it doesn't work for us. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. I thought there was something wrong with me for a while. I didn't. We didn't get pregnant right away after the first time. Not everyone does. I know, but I thought that was how it was supposed to work. So I was like, oh my gosh, something's wrong with me. Michelle is also a hypochondriac oh, in to every the max. single aspect, so. Yeah. Literally. If she reads online that like drinking this chocolate thing will give her a third arm, then she'll believe it. Mm -hmm. Are you planning on getting married before or after the baby arrives? Definitely after. Yeah, probably Neither after. Neither of us care, to be honest. I know. This might sound really bad, but... Yeah, but who cares? It doesn't sound bad to us. Yeah, but like we just have no like urgency to go and get married and have like a big wedding or anything Because like if that. we have a wedding, it's going to be a big deal. It's going to be expensive. We could go buy a house with the money that we would spend on a wedding mm -hmm. or go ma buy, make an investment in something else that makes more sense. And do we want to get married? Yes. But like, do we care about doing it now? Not at all. I kind of grew up thinking like, oh, you had to be married before you had kids. But I just don't think marriage is like the deciding factor that you're going to be together forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely. Like, I think it's just a piece of paper. This is my opinion. And I could get totally roasted for this. So please don't come for me. I'm well, just saying. We're not telling anyone else how they should live. Yeah. This is just how we Feel. Do we want to get married? Absolutely. We pretty much are married now. Yeah. We've even talked about just going to the courthouse and like doing the paperwork part of it and then waiting to have like our actual wedding. Also, like our later. family is extremely spread out across the entire world, so it's very hard to like get everyone together without making someone feel like they're missing out or something. So. Yeah. We kind of just got engaged and we're like, okay, cool. Like we're married. Basically. <laughs> we were married of, before that. I know. Too. Obviously, now we want our kid to be in the wedding, so I think we'll probably wait till like the kid's a little bit older. Two or three. Or yeah, like can walk probably so we'll probably get married after the baby's here But we're not really in a rush to do it. <laughs> Are you finding out the gender? Yes, we're gonna find out the gender. We're gonna find out the gender, but we're gonna have a gender reveal party. Yeah, of so, some kind. So that was another question. A lot of people are like, "Are you gonna tell us the gender? Are you gonna share the gender? Or are you gonna save it till once we born? find out?" Yeah. Yeah. For as sure. soon as we find out the gender, we're gonna let you guys know. We're probably gonna film like a gender reveal or something like that. It's probably gonna be small though, because we want to have a big baby shower. My next appointment is when we find out. <laughs> people have been saying too, like, "I need a baby bump picture." I literally don't have, well, yeah, Rochelle okay. Rochelle doesn't have anything. I she think says I have she one. does, but she doesn't. Uh, so like, if you were looking at me, you would have no idea that I was pregnant probably. But to me, since I know, it's like, 
I can feel my skin just getting tighter on my stomach and like I feel like I'm gaining a ton of weight there. She's not. But like there really is no bump to show off. It just kind of looks like a food baby. So yeah. <laughs> have you guys thought about names or do you already have names picked out for a boy and a girl? Kind of, but kind also of. not I think really. We have a girl's name like set in stone, I think. That one we're pretty solid on. Yeah. So a girl's name we're pretty set on. I think we, like her first name, we have that picked out and I don't think we're gonna change that just because like we both really like that name. We don't have a middle name picked out for a girl. I like the middle name Capri. What? He hates it. It's like name your kid's middle name like Xbox or something. No, Capri is a city in Italy. And my name is a city in, um, well, Texas. Is it Greece or it's somewhere? I don't know. So I thought it would be cool to have like our daughter have a similar middle name to me. There's a better name than Capri, he doesn't for like sure. Capri. That's a horrible name. But it sounds really good with the first name we have picked out, but he hates it. So it that's doesn't. not gonna work. It doesn't really fit at all. It does. It sounds so good. And then as for boy names, we are all over the place with boy names, honestly. There's a couple good ones, but it's tough. We have like it's one It's hard not out. to relate it to like people that you you've know. known. Yeah. We have one name picked out and we do really like that boy name but are we gonna go with it? I have no idea yet. I guess we'll just see once we find out the gender. Oh, a lot of people have been asking me if I've had any weird cravings. And honestly, have I had any weird ones? I wouldn't say really weird. Yeah, no, I don't I don't really think I have any weird ones. They're just kind of normal. At least yet. One thing, yeah, not yet. I'm sure I will have some weird ones coming up, but one thing that I have noticed is, so I go through like these phases. Sometimes I really like watching people like mukbangs and eating She'll videos. She'll watch these eating videos for like 24 <laughs> hours in yeah. a row. So sometimes I really like those and then other times I watch them and I get like nauseous watching it. When I was going through that phase where I really liked watching mukbangs, I would watch people eating like seafood and um, like crab, crab legs. legs. Yeah. Never crab even had legs. crab legs. I've never had that in my life, but for some reason it sounded so good to me, even though I have no idea what it tastes like. So I guess that's kind of like a weird craving. I didn't act on it, but like I would watch videos of people eating it. I would just look over in the bed and I would just hear like... <laughs> Sucking you, down you know why it was stuff. though you know why it was because that was like during the time when I couldn't keep food down really and like my appetite was so messed up so I think I was like watching people eat as a way to feel like I was eating if that makes any sense I got like some weird satisfaction out of it what do you crave or eat the most so this is kind of different but like I said I don't really crave anything but food that I've been eating the most is pho I've been eating a lot of pho I've been eating a lot of like Mediterranean food so and like eggs on toast. Oh yeah, and eggs on toast. I would say that's your most salsa. eaten food. True. Yeah. I eat that every single day. I wake up and I'm like, babe, can you make me my egg sandwich? Every day. And he does. This is an important question. How many weeks are you? So I'm actually 13, 13 weeks 13 weeks? Yeah, so we just had our 13 week appointment. So I think I'm officially out of the first trimester, right? Yeah, because three months would be 12 weeks. Yeah, so technically I'm going into my second trimester now. Someone asked, what's the due date? So when we had our very first appointment, I think I was like nine weeks. They said June. Yeah, they said sometime in June. So sometime in June of next year. A lot of people have been asking how am I feeling? Has ginger ale and saltines helped? Um, <laughs> Michelle feels horrible 24 7 nothing helps yeah so that was another thing someone said can you give us tips on how to help with nausea and honestly I have none because I have tried everything under the Sun I've tried ginger chews I've tried ginger ale I've tried saltines too and like I can stomach those things and they're fine but it's like if I'm not constantly eating them then like the nausea comes right back yeah. So it's just, it's it's been a constant thing with me. Unless there's food 24 seven, yeah. she'll get sick. Yep, I basically, I need something in my stomach at all times, otherwise I will instantly get nauseous. But I'm even nauseous right after I eat a meal too, so it kind of is just like, it's just like 24 seven. Love it, it's yeah. been really fun. Michelle has a spot on the couch and she pretty much just sits there all day. Yep, there's literally like a full indent of my body on the couch. There is, actually. No, like literally, because when I first found out I was pregnant, probably around like the seven to like 10 week mark, I, like now I can kind of go out and do things and like I'm a little bit more active during the day. There was a long period of time where I was literally just a vegetable on the couch. Yeah. I'm happy that I'm better than that Me time. Me too because I had to do everything by yeah, myself. Yeah, he did. But you did it, so. Made it through. That's what I'm talking about. What gender are you guys wanting? A boy. Yeah. But also it doesn't really matter, but it like. So here's my thing. I kind of want a boy first too. Just to have like the older brother, you know what I mean? Because I was the oldest and I've always wanted like an older brother. In a perfect world, if we could pick, we probably would want a boy first. Yeah. 
But I don't know. I've been having a feeling it's a girl, so. I have a feeling it's a boy. See, that's the thing. I have a feeling it's a girl, and then, like, I'll look up certain symptoms that I'm having, and then I'm like, oh my god, it's a boy. Yeah, that's the thing. Rochelle looks up everything that happens, and it... It's like 50-50 yeah. right now. It could be a girl or a boy. I have no idea. I honestly have no clue. I would be shocked by either one at this point, yeah. because I have no clue. Are you gonna keep the name a secret? We probably are. Probably. Until the baby's born, and then we'll probably, like, announce it, but... I think we're gonna keep it a secret. It's just exciting that way. Like I love when I watch other couples and they like keep it a secret because then you feel like and you've been a part of the whole, yeah. yeah. You've been a part of the whole journey and it's like the like surprise at the end. You know what I mean? Have so. we started the nursery or baby room? We've thought about no. it, but it's like kind of hard now when you don't really know if it's a boy or a girl. Yeah, we're gonna wait till we find out the gender probably to like get most of the things. I have started creating a baby registry though because I saw a couple comments asking us if we were gonna create one and if people could support us on that, which was really sweet. And you don't have to do that at all, but I thought that was really sweet that people were even asking. And so I have started creating one. I might leave it linked down below, but it's just gonna be so scattered right now. I need to look more into it. Favorite thing about being pregnant, it's an excuse for everything. It is, if we don't, <laughs> if we have to. <laughs> if we don't, yeah, be careful how you answer this question. If Something you miss you could do when you weren't pregnant. Poop, feel normal. Great. When did you guys cross the line from nervous to excited? I think it's still both. Yeah, I, don't I think, think we ever. I don't think you ever crossed the line, really. Well, actually, for me, I did cross the line where I was more excited than nervous because when I first found out, I was pooping myself. Like, I was not prepared. I was so nervous. But I think after talking to our family and, like, seeing their reactions to it and, like, knowing that this is, like, a beautiful and positive thing. Yeah. It, like, made me a lot more excited. I don't know why I'm going to cry saying that. What? Look at my eyes. Why are you crying? I don't know. Michelle cries at everything now. She cried at everything before, honestly, but it's even more prevalent now for sure. I just think we're... Oh, my God. I'm literally crying. Sorry. <laughs> Pregnant. See, it's a great excuse for literally everything. True. I think it's beautiful that we have such a good support system because I feel like some people, they don't have that. You know yeah. what I mean? So, I think talking to family and stuff like that and friends even it like makes you more excited because you get a positive reaction true so i think that's why i'm getting emotional god sorry because yeah like being pregnant could definitely be a scary and like uncertain time for some people like it was kind of scary when i first found out so i just feel very like blessed and thankful that i'm more excited now because of the people around me and just like thinking about our future like it makes me excited you know all the stuff yeah. we can do together as a family all the memories we can make traditions we can start i'm just excited so yeah i can't wait what are yeah. your views on breastfeeding so i'm probably gonna breastfeed just because i've heard there's a lot of benefits from it but i don't really have like an opinion on like oh you should breastfeed you know what i mean like i'm not gonna yeah, tell think, other people what to do i don't think we're like that with anything though yeah I mean, if you think like you can tell other people how they should live their life then you're wrong yeah just in general yeah so i probably will breastfeed but like i don't think that everyone needs to or has to because in certain situations you can't you know what I mean? who do you think will be the more strict parent also love you guys we love you too i think rochelle will be i think really i feel like i'm gonna be the pushover you're gonna go to rochelle and ask first and then come to me you think yeah I do want to chop all my hair off, so who knows? Not, when I when guys, I cut tell my Rochelle, hair, guys, do not cut, cut all of her When hair I off. cut my hair, guys, the Karen might come out. So I mean, I don't know. That's I always great. joke around too. Not since I've been going through like a lot of morning sickness and all that stuff. That as soon as the kid comes out, it's grounded. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we're just gonna both have rules and boundaries and stuff like that, and we yeah. just have to agree. So that way, we're both the cool parents. Mm -hmm. They like us both equally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are some foods you used to love but can't eat right now? So I can't drink coffee the smell of coffee like disgusting I buffalo oh my yeah. gosh buffalo Can't chicken buffalo. buffalo sauce nasty and buffalo was my favorite oh honestly in and out burgers have or you, burgers have, in general you haven't yeah had i have on our way back from phoenix and then we had one here and both times we've gotten them mm. i've felt like gross like it wasn't the same it tasted different which is kind of now. disappointing but yeah burgers in general too like i just don't love burgers now i don't yeah. know why oh chocolate i don't chocolate. eat chocolate she doesn't really eat dessert anymore yeah it's more just like, like a fruit or something like that like sweets right now it's like 
disgusting to me. Like the thought of eating. So there was this chocolate bar I used to love from Trader Joe's. You would get two every time we went. There. Every time and eat both of them. And I couldn't even imagine putting that in my mouth right now, which is so weird because I am the chocolate queen. Like chocolate yeah. is my everything. She loves chocolate. <laughs> okay, and the last question we've been getting a lot is how many kids do we want? Four. So he wants four. I wanted four too, but like, let's get through this first one because I didn't know what pregnancy was like. So let me just experience this. True. And then we'll come back to that. But, but like four. ideally in a perfect world, four would be great. Yeah. So we'll see. Definitely gonna need a bigger car for that. <laughs> Definitely gonna need a big car and a big house. Oh yeah. my gosh. Anyways, we hope that you guys enjoyed this pregnancy Q&A. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Zach is about to pee himself, so if I'm he gonna. looks really worried. I had to pee before we started. Yeah, so he's really gonna pee himself. Thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely hit that subscribe button down below to join the Raz fam, and we will see you guys in our next YouTube video. Bye. Bye.